Hey guys, it's another hey. another wonderful. Well, it's not a very wonderful day outside, is it? Like gloomy and. It's sixty eight degrees outside with no sun and drizzly rain all off and on throughout the you know week for like three or four days. Yeah. But it's still a wonderful day to do a video, right? It's a good day to yep. be inside. Exactly. Yeah, or you can be watching TV or sleeping or playing video mm -hmm. games or whatever you want to do. But just do not go outside. Is there anything <sighs> fun you could do outside when it's like this? No. <laughs> Maybe put a tarp outside on a hill and play slip and slide or whatever. Well, we're outside, though. I mean, we're, we're driving the car. <laughs> yeah, and it rained a few times, uh. sprinkled a little bit. So, it... We did our first 4K video the other day at the flea market. <clears throat> it was they were having a car and motorcycle show, so you guys probably seen it. Did you have fun? Wow, yes. And <laughs> what what were your favorite motorcycles and cars? My favorite bike was the 53 flat at Harley. And my favorite car was the Plymouth Roadrunner. Yeah, Plymouth Roadrunner. Beautiful, beautiful car. The, they did an amazing job on the paint and all. Right. I'll nice. talk briefly about the the '53 Harley. Uh, looking at it, there is unless you know your Harleys and all, which I don't. I wouldn't ever thought it was that old. I mean, it it was probably rebuilt from the ground up. Yeah. And just in immaculate condition and immaculate. Yeah, and what was the paint color? It was like a bronze something. Oh, like a burnt orange color kind of. They called it like a. It could have been like a burnt bronze. I don't know. I, it's possible that these people see your videos one day and they'll say it's this, or maybe somebody knows the bike. You know, because they probably travel around 100, 200 miles and just show their bikes and their cars and stuff. It was beautiful, and for I probably should have this, but I believe my papa's was a fifty-five flat. May have the wrong, but it was in that same, same kind of years, and yeah, he built it from ground up, and. And so it took me back to those days of riding on it and yeah, all that, that stuff. True Harley people, they don't just get Harleys and get rid of them, right? They don't just like buy and sell. They, they, keep them. they There's something nostalgic about certain models, certain years. Yep. Just like nostalgic can grip all of us, you know, most of us. Some people aren't nostalgic, right? <laughs> but... A lot of people are nostalgic for things, and uh, they might have said, well, my grandfather used to ride this bike, so I'm going to get me a 53 or 54, 55, and flathead. Or, like, you know, my grandpa loved the Honda Gold Wings, you know, and they seemed to, like they weren't super expensive bikes back in the day, but you can't, they're they're around, but they're not as easily accessible. You can't just go, you know, somewhere, you know, 15 miles away and buy one. But he loved those gold wings, and um, he had a Harley, like a almost a brand new one, one time. And we probably talked about him painting, you know, cars and stuff fluorescent orange and green, and mm, it kind of looked ugly, <laughs> like the house and everything, but. He chopped that dang Harley frame in half thinking he was going to do some kind of modification on it. And it sat there for 20 plus years until somebody finally uh, bought the motor from, from him. Probably for way less than he paid for it. You know, after he, you know, got to probably 68, 70 years old. <laughs> so, so, uh... So we're not, just because we shot that in 4K, and, and I'll tell you why we shot it in 4K. We did it out, it was outside, it wasn't super sunny, it was kind of a little dreary, but it, sun came out just a little bit for the shot. We knew we weren't going to do a really long 4K video, you know, like a 30 minute talk. There's probably no way our phone's capacity could do a 4K 30 minute video, and it would take two weeks probably to upload it on, with our internet provider. Those things hopefully will be coming eventually as we get better and better and maybe maybe faster internet service. But so that's not going to be the norm for our talks and stuff, at least not yet. 
So, what is our topic for today? The holiday season. So, what, where, what, I am yeah, tongue-tied. What's the start of the holiday season? You know, what, like, month do you think? Is it, like, as soon as, like, fall hits or October? Well, now that I have kids, it's Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> but yep. I was raised in a Christian home, and we did it. Celebrate up. And I really, <clears throat> I still don't understand the point of it. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> and she hasn't yawned all day until now. <laughs> but our little boys are obsessed with it. I guess it's dressing up and getting candy and getting ass, so... I guess I'm semi okay with it as long as like there's no like demonic stuff, right? Yeah, or blood gusting gore. Like I'm not into any of that. So don't dress <laughs> up as leather Leatherface or Freddy Krueger. Yeah, like, like that. that'll never happen. What about Jason? No. I mean, it's just a hockey mask in his face, and he's a machete or something. Uh, yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what uh, you probably don't remember the what was the uh the, the teenage mutant ninja turtle that had the hockey mask in the hot or whatever what was his name Casey or something do you remember that from from the cartoon he had the hockey puck i think well no i used to watch I, there turtles. was there was kind of like an unofficial turtle or something that wasn't it was like a human or something uh Okay, somebody will probably chime in here if, if we get enough. Uh, if you guys are looking behind yeah. Natalie, there is laundry baskets everywhere. And it's because we have been super busy every single day going out of town or in town, whatever you want to call it, doing her PT. Her, oh, boy. All right, she just hit the mic, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably get a really quick moment of silence and you'll just see an awkward whatever. Alright. Microphone's unaffected. No. I don't. <laughs> so, when we do... Uh, I can't listen to the headphones when we are recording to the camera. So I have to switch it to a different mode for whatever <laughs> reason. That is dumb, but anyway, Halloween. Take it away, Natalie. So yes, our children are obsessed with Halloween. So uh, what do we do this year? So we did not do any traditional Halloween Yeah, we stuff. don't do pumpkins or anything like that. Well, like, I mean, we don't we don't just go out on the streets with everybody else, right? We go to they churches. Don't trick or treat, we no. go trunk or treating. Trunk or treat and or fall festivals, whatever you want to call them. The first time my mother in law took place, my mother in law and her husband, so they're pap pap, they call him. Took them to a father store at <laughs> her friend's church. And I think they did like face painting and stuff. And they had a blast. And they came out and got candy. And truthfully, did I made like probably 50% of the candy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then Halloween night, the church where my son goes school had actually had their own festival, and me and Nan and my mother in law and her husband pop up. We all went to the Halloween festival. And what happened? 
They were supposed uh-huh. to have face painting, but I, some, somebody yeah, must not have showed up. They had pump, they the little miniature pumpkin painting. They had the, oh. the little fishing pole thing where somebody, you know, puts a clip on a Hershey bar or Kit Kat or whatever. And they had these little bean bag throw things. They had a, a hay ride. They had this miniature fire truck ride. Where, you know, one of the kids get to ring the bell, you know, ding, 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 and it has all the lights and stuff. I don't know if it used like a lawnmower, you know, like a modified lawnmower or something like that. But the guy, like at the end of the night, probably an hour or two before they were closing, uh, the engine stopped working. It might have blew up. I don't know what happened. But I think most of the kids that wanted to ride got got a chance to ride, hopefully. <laughs> So and you know there there was hot dogs probably Oscar Mayer some crappy hot dogs <laughs> some crap nobody you know the kids wanted them until they took a bite or whatever and Natalie wouldn't touch them I think I ate one just no. you know I'm not I don't want to waste food especially when I'm around people and they're giving their you know food away <laughs> I well, don't eat like hot dogs I'm gonna pick you about though like. You want kosher hot dogs. Yeah, I like Hebrew Nash dolls or Nathan's all over, but not. Most of the hot dogs, no thank you. And uh, <laughs> I started with Nathan's, but over time, there's something that it still has that kind of burnt rubbery, burnt plastic taste to me. <laughs> the only one that doesn't have it or it's not as bad as the Hebrew Nationals. And I've had I've had even like local the local butcher that makes their own hot dogs make something that just tastes like nothing, just bland. And you know people rave about them, but that's probably because they're putting relish and mayonnaise and <laughs> crap all over it and flavoring it with their own stuff. You know. Um. So what else did they have at there? They were um had a prayer request booth. Um. They had like a little. Like a scarecrow thing where you take pictures and, and, and yeah, a few other little things. They had oh the cakewalk. So here they had a real fire truck. Oh, they had a real, real fire truck, <laughs> not a rear fire truck. <laughs> I'm getting I'm all messed up again. So the cakewalk. What happened with the cakewalk? <laughs> our little, our middle son JJ won the cakewalk, which I. Don't really get, but I think it's something like musical chairs, right? Yeah, but it, it's a little. They they weren't playing it where you lose a chair. They were just you play, you stop, and they pick a number, and wherever you're, you know, the number they pick is uh, correlates with the seat you're sitting on. So you play music for thirty seconds or a minute, and then boom, and then you know somebody's got a cake. So J Day won. Both Twice. rounds. He yeah. won two rounds, but... We only got one cake, and our other son, Junior, the oldest one, pitched an ever-loving fit. Yeah, everybody's cheating. Everybody's cheating. <laughs> For, so the last 30 minutes of us being there, and this is we probably left early because of it. He <laughs> backed away, was backing into other people, saying, he You <laughs> cheated! You cheated! <laughs> Y'all so, cheated me. And we like, no, don't be a sore loser. But he doesn't understand that. And Jaden didn't, didn't cheat. No, <laughs> like, you can't cheat in that the way they got it. Yeah, the way it was, there was no cheating involved. Jojo just did not like the fact that Jojo won. <laughs> mm-hmm. And 90% chance if he would have stayed a couple more rounds, he would have got a cake too. So, oh each fam, each household was only allowed to have one winner. <laughs> so, if you play they and you win twice, so you're playing just for fun. They would just uh, pick another number. That, uh, we is, got the best cake. I've oh my ever gosh! Had. Yes, what kind my of life. Life. <laughs> it was? It was a vanilla wafer. Vanilla wafer pound cake. Yes, I, I think oh, yeah. Just die for. <laughs> yeah, and 
you don't you don't have any of the texture of a vanilla wafer. I mean, they kind of melt in the mix. I'm sure there are in there because that's what gives it so much vanilla flavor. Mm-hmm. And what what did it have in it do you, that you could know that you could guess? There was coconut. Oh, was... coconut. That's what it was. Yeah. Very odd, but it went. Very dense, and it was just... Yeah. Dense, I mean, I'm sure a lot of butter. <laughs> uh, walnuts, like candied mm. walnuts. Yeah, it was good. It was yummy. Like, I've never had a cake like that. <laughs> I would say probably top top four or five. Yeah. And, and I can't even tell you what the top cake is that I've had, but I'm just, I'm just going to be conservative and say that one of the top five cakes and it's i don't know if it was made from scratch i would assume so i found the recipe for it and there's several different recipes and i found the lines <laughs> if we ever get the mood to bake we could try it <laughs> so junior lost his snacks for at least a couple of days afterwards he was in trouble when he got home he was you know he kids have a way of embarrassing their parents and i i probably get way more embarrassed than natalie does daddy gets extremely embarrassed uh, me i'm kind of just like whatever like a kid is a kid they're gonna act only one act, so as long as he's not throwing himself on the floor, like, pinching a fit, then I'm pretty much, I'm cool, cool, calm, and confident. <laughs> you weren't really happy, though, to go up there, were you? You, you seemed like your mood was kind of off a little bit. Were you sick, or just, you know, or was Yeah, it- that's what I got the pneumonia, so... And here's what happened. After after Charlie got in trouble, Natalie Natalie kind of had to she had to shift her her mindset and her focus, and she got a little bit more happy I think after that, right? Because you had to focus less inward and more towards Charlie. Is that what how you would describe it? You didn't have to deal with anything until he started. I switched to mom mode. Probably, switched to mom but... mode. That's that's a good way to put it. But yeah, that was the end of the night, pretty much. After he started doing that, we stayed around and just kind of slowly moved toward the car. And it when we first went there, it didn't look very big, right? Mm-mm. And it's probably because there was hardly anybody there, you know. But once everybody yeah, started filling the space, showed up. yeah, and then it and then it got nighttime pretty fast and. Um, so that was pretty much it. So, um, now, Thanksgiving. So, as I said, we have been super busy every day pretty much going, you know, into town. And now we just got thrown a monkey wrench, like, right before doing this video. So, I said, let's just talk about it. (laughs) Big monkey wrench. Okay. So, we had a plan on going... To Thanksgiving at my mom's, they do our new apartment complex. They do like a sense of community thing where they have like a potluck Thanksgiving dinner. Which I get a sworn and I'll have to go through and read our text. But I got a sword my mom told me that it was on actual Thanksgiving. So that's what we've been planning. And like right before we started this video, she texted me. It was like our Thanksgiving dinner is tomorrow, honey. Oh, uh, like what? <laughs> she has to be wrong, is what I said. She's thinking of this <laughs> is next week, <laughs> next Thursday, <laughs> and it's a new day. Hi. <laughs> She's wearing a new shirt. 
There's no laundry. That's the best Ooh. thing about this, right? There's no laundry behind us. We were behind like four days of laundry. We had like five or six baskets and probably two or three loads in the laundry room. Ridiculous. So we finally got it all taken care of. So we'll give an update on what happened. Let's go ahead and clarify something Nelly wanted to clarify. And so, and then goes to Jan. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, in the video earlier, Jan said that when Junior misbehaved at the fair, trunk or treat, we took his snacks away. No, we did not take his snacks away. That would be mean and cruel. Snacks are something like cheese sticks or bananas or apple slices or even gurgers. Like something at least semi-healthy like and a treat is flat out sugar and junk. And I consider, I just call everything snacks. Hershey bar, Kit Kat bar, a banana, yogurt. <laughs> no. So it, it's, it's all inclusive on my end. So, But Natalie said she had to clarify that to make sure we're not uh, torturing our kids by not giving them <laughs> their bananas. <laughs> all right. So, um, so like I said, it's been two days. I don't know if I said that. It's a new day. It's been two days. And what happened with uh, Thanksgiving? So we found out in, uh, two days ago, my mom's Thanksgiving dinner was uh, yesterday, the 16th, and not on Thanksgiving. So, yeah, we did not go. And... We made a big mistake. Why, Dan? I had been saying that in our second Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> which we're going to uh, my side of the family's uh, um, for Thanksgiving, that I hope that they they said they were bringing in in food. So I hope that they were going to cater. Sonny's was going to cater them. And what happened with your mom's? <laughs> they catered Sunny and Barbara. Yeah, and we missed out. And see, even Nick Charles is really upset about it. You hear him over there? He wanted Sunny's too. <laughs> that is a guinea pig, not a parakeet. <laughs> so, Sunny's isn't the best barbecue, but they cater a lot. And it's it's probably one of the best to have catered, I would say, in this area. Yeah. I mean, versus going to a really like a high class catering company that has sushi and all that crap, caviar, which you know, Sonny's isn't going to do that. I don't. I've never tried caviar, but anyway, we missed <laughs> out. And if I would have known that it was going to be Sonny's, despite only having a, a, a few hours to make a decision. We probably would have just grabbed a plate. I mean, that's probably thirty dollars plus worth of food between two adults and three kids. It's right? such a cheapskate. That's all down to money. <laughs> well, gas has went down a little bit. We probably could have got there for you know fifteen to eighteen bucks and back, and it would have paid off. It's kind of like a Black Friday deal if you know what you're doing. This is probably why people do wedding crashes, right? <laughs> Oh my this is God. why people crash weddings. It's not just to go like photo bomb somebody you don't know. You're sitting there eating all kinds of expensive food and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so what are the plans? Oh, and I, there also, you want to say something real fast? I talked earlier about the unofficial turtle. Yeah, we verified it. It's Casey Jones. You guys don't have to chime in now. She kind of said after I looked it up on Google, she said, yeah, I kind of remember Casey Jones on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon now. Okay, so what are our plans? Going to your stepbrothers, which is almost in Georgia. It's like right on the Florida Jordan line. There's a national forest that that I, 
is it in Georgia or is it split between Florida and Georgia? I think it's split between. So you cannot go to Georgia. Cosby, Os- Osceola. I don't remember if it's that or Okefenokee. Whatever. It's a swamp. Uh, it's a swamp. This place is lowlands, but it's good. You know, you can deer hunt, I guess, like in the surrounding areas. I don't know if it's legal to deer hunt there, but he gets deer all the time outside of that area. Um, hopefully this is not against the law and we're not, like, telling on somebody. <laughs> But you cannot just drive to Georgia from where he's at. There is a big, giant national forest splitting, you know, the state. So you'd probably have to go all the way around the forest to get to Georgia. I'm not even sure which, like, route you would take, you know. Oh, no, no. Like, I think you just go through the forest. Because there's no roads. I mean, I guess you could hit, you there know. There might be there are a little gallery that's going for no, According to these people, there's not, but. Um. Yeah, and it might be because it's split between two states, and who knows. And, you know, they're always trying to, you know, prevent poachers and stuff. If you have easy access to to all the areas, you know, poaching is going to be probably big, bigger, you know, bears and. <clears throat> all that stuff and deer. So what? What are we doing then? What? What may stop us? As I said, this is a swampy area, and we're told that they're going to call us like the night before to let us know if they think we can get our wheelchair van and wheelchair into the yard and out unloaded without getting stuck. So there's no guarantee we're going to be there. So this really gonna suck if not, cause we've already missed my mom. So now, if not, we have nothing new for Thanksgiving. And, and we were told <laughs> that nobody wanted to cook this year, at least, in, so that they're having everything catered and or brought. I don't know if it's catered or if they're just picking something up from a local grocery that's pre-cooked. But fingers crossed, it's Sunny's, right? I don't know. I don't even know if there's a Sunny's around there. <laughs> it, Either do I. If it's a barbecue place, I do not want a Carolina sauce. I want a Southern sweet sauce. <laughs> that ruins it. I don't want a mustard based sauce. He is so damn picky. <laughs> you might OT were talking about this yesterday. And how you refuse to eat onions like even McCormick spices that might have a hint of onions and I'm like Montreal steak and Montreal chicken he won't get near. He wanted to chicken parmesan until he met me because chicken parmesan is made with spaghetti sauce. So when we first got together, I made it, but he made me make it with <laughs> pizza sauce. So now, and actually that's pretty good. So now we make our chicken parmesan with pizza sauce. Not ragu. Uh, that's what I used to buy just because I didn't know it better. Because ragu was just watery and not very flavorful, right? Yeah. So classico, and and, and I, I get turned off like big tomato chunks, and it's randomly even in the classico, but if you hide the onions in like, as far as juiced or pulverized so much, and it doesn't have that super oniony flavor, I, you obviously eat it in barbecue sauces, obviously eat it in like pizza sauces and everything. I don't like the texture of onions. Or any of that, but I, she said, you know, I wouldn't eat this and that. But I didn't even eat pork or pork barbecue sandwiches at all when I met you, right? Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. He's a picky butt. My children are identical, and it drives me nuts. Cause I'm a foodie, and I love food. I eat. Pretty much anything. There's always an experience with food. The only thing I don't like 
are water chestnuts. Uh, they're kind of oniony. You like onions, but you don't like water chestnuts. They have no damn flavor at all to me. The I just texture. don't like them because of the texture. Even like, you know, I, I talked to an Asian guy one time, and I said, I didn't like longan or dragon eye fruit. And he said, why? I said, it, it kind of has like an oniony <laughs> texture. And like, he's like, that's weird. Nobody's ever said that to me before. It reminds me of onions. And water chestnuts kind of remind me of onions. No, like Dana is the biggest button. It's like, we only eat barbecue chips. And guess, guess what? Only you... barbecue chicken. We eat barbecue chicken so much I can puke. <laughs> but we used to do the barbecue chi- uh, the chicken uh, tacos. And they can still kids like don't like anything either. spicy. They will not touch it. They want a taco shell with cheese in it and nothing else. <laughs> and that's not a taco. That's what they call a taco. Yeah. And uh, and when we had time before kids or when we only had one, we did like take our time to make a lot of recipes and you know cook a lot. And I didn't mind the uh, Montreal steak seasoning when we had like a big giant uh chicken you know because it kind of diluted into the mix but when we started doing like chicken breast or smaller chickens and it's not getting diluted into the uh the, the fat and stuff mm, that's Montreal rendered down chicken. then it just kind of overwhelmed me with flavors not of. Montreal steak it's called Montreal chicken is that what we were using oh, i thought it was Montreal steak whatever it was it, it just overwhelmed me the last time and just i couldn't i can't here's the thing people people will associate like throwing up with a certain food they had and here's the perfect example right there they won't eat it or they are a long time like you used to do the chicken all the kings all the time right oh because we were almost over <laughs> you used to do the chicken all the kings all the time and yes, so I violently got the flu and was throwing up repeatedly. And it was the night I had a Montreal, or I had a... Chicken all the king. Then the next thing was, uh, chicken pot pie. All oh, boy, that pot pie went everywhere. <laughs> All them little peas and whatever that white stuff was that is that okay? That's not good. Do we have like? You know, people get turned off. Either they don't like the flavor, or they think it's nasty, or they throw up or something. And sometimes they just they do not eat it anymore. Sometimes forever. And that's the point of that. So we are going to split the holiday talk into probably two different conversations. We don't have time to talk about Christmas, New Year's, and all that. So we're pretty much running a low. Anything else we need to uh, talk about? No. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.